You're not exactly what I was looking for. But... You're close enough. You're gaining consciousness again. Welcome to the real world. So tell me, what's your name? Quiet type, huh? <sighs> I'm used to this. Already I've been betrayed more than once. Already before I've been turned away from. Already I've been ignored. But that's not going to change at all. I know this. I should get used to being ignored because I don't like when people are around me. You people make me sick. You people are disease ridden, disgusting, foul insects. You should all be exterminated. And that's why I'm here. Consider me somewhat of an exterminator. Consider me your worst type of nightmare. I know you remember me. You've seen my face before. You've gotten away from me, haven't you? You've gotten away from me. Because of those heroes. You're a lot older now. So you must know a lot more. And you must know how to control that quirk of yours now. Real interesting. Really. You can color me impressed. Do you like my new prosthetics? They were designed by somebody who was working with you, side by side. He gathered up his own information about building tech and whatnot, and he brought it to me. And in short, he gave me my life back. He gave me my purpose back. To kill all heroes. Although these are not my original arms, they still work the same. I've been working on my quirk as well, because I can also upgrade myself with just a simple touch of something, or someone. And with the help of our new found co leader, well, we have some new and improved soldiers on our side. You see, a couple of months ago, he came to me in my cell of some sort in that maximum prison. And he released me, knowing that I would want revenge. But he beat me down more than once to put it through my head that he's stronger than me. But he knows I am strong as well. I just needed to get back up on my feet. And so, he gave me life again. He gave me purpose. And now that I have my purpose, I want to use my purpose again. I want to exterminate these foul, disgusting insects from this world. 
Those heroes have no right with being here. Those heroes have no right of having the spotlight all to themselves. And in short, here I am. And I've been looking everywhere for you. Because, well, I'm not really done with you. You see, I wasn't told to bring you back alive because you got away from Shigaraki and his goons. But now that I got you here, I'm gonna need you alive. Sadly, I can't have as much fun as I would. But those are the rules, and I have to follow them myself. You are understanding what I'm telling you, right? I can't quite kill you. But the things I can do to you, you wish you were be dead. Uh, quite a lot of things has happened. Quite a lot of things. From being betrayed by my own team. From getting my quirk basically taken away from me. From the one I am working with now. To becoming my boss. And also a closer friend. They, the L.O.V., have reinvested me. If you can look into my eyes, you could see all the torture, all the pain, and all the misery that I had to go through. You could never imagine. My life meant nothing to those people. But now, they want me because they know what I can do. And they know I have the skill to put their team back on top. So, I'm going to bring you back alive sadly, back to that LOV, because they need you. <sighs> it kills me not to kill you, but after I'm done with you, they said I could do whatever I want with your body, with your mind. You could be a part of me. Hell. I could even just throw you on the street and leave you with a reminder of who I really am. Do you get me? Good. You look very defeated. It's because I put some sense into your mind, didn't I? Some sense that you know that your life is going to be nothing but an experiment to the LOV. An experiment where I get to dissect every single part of you and fix you to my liking. Putrid insect. As soon as I get the chance, as soon as I get the word of where they're done with you, you're gonna be squished under my foot like the proper insect you are. <laughs> Now go back to sleep. 
I don't have time to hear your nonsense coming out of your mouth. Good night. <laughs>